saw this was announced today from Yubico. So they announced and they make the Yubi keys, which are like the hardware based keys. Some, mm-hmm. some of them are USB. They released one that was, I think, NFC and Bluetooth a while back. They've released the 5CI, um, which is kind of like a double ended dong- dongle. A double-ended um, dongle? A oh. double-ended dongle. One side is lightning and one side is USB-C. Oh, let me get a, look, a closer look at that. Oh. So I thought it was pretty cool. So it works with password managers like 1Password, Dashlane, LastPass, mm-hmm. Bitwarden. Um, it also works with other services like Okta, if you're into the enterprise uh, single sign-on and identity services. Um uh, let, let, it, let's roll that back a little bit uh, for, okay. It, it, I, it, I don't know anything do, about security. Do you use, you use, you, do you use one password or last pass? Uh, I do. I do. Yeah. So instead of, so instead of having to have your password, you would plug in this device, mm-hmm. which I like personally, because it means you have to have something physical, right? If I knew your last pass password, then I would have all of your passwords. Right. With this, I would have to like steal your keychain, which is one of those things that would probably not go unnoticed. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so I like the theory of having either something like your face, which your face makes me nervous because you can't change your face. It's kind of like your fingerprint. Yeah. Um, if if someone if if someone feels uh, figures out how to compromise your fingerprint, and that's the that's the key. Um, to all of your passwords, you mm. you probably have a problem, right? Whereas you can change something like one of these physical dongles. Um, and based on the fact that it's both Lightning and USB-C, um, it's not just um, iOS-based, right? It's any PC, any Android dev- any modern Android device, any modern PC. Um, you could plug this in and it validates as to who you are. And then allows you to unlock other systems. And then with using password managers, you can now, instead of using the same password for everything or some crazy algorithm that you come up with here in your head, like the first letter of the website or service, plus mm-hmm. your kid's uh, name and then your birthday and the last four digits of your phone number. He is an Android. <laughs> um, <laughs> so... So this allows you to have that physical piece and really randomize those passwords. So I thought I thought it was a pretty nice piece of equipment. It comes in kind of expensive at the seventy dollar price range, but if you're dealing with multiple services and multiple passwords um, versus being compromised, it's probably worth it. They also have a forty five dollar um, NFC and Bluetooth version, and then they have Google has a alternate option at fifty dollar the Titan so, security key. So this is maybe maybe not everybody should have this, right? Are we? We're not at that point. But, you, but so, like, like, so what? here's going to be my question: mm-hmm. Should everyone put a password on the front front end of their phone? Mm-hmm. I mean, I think so. I think my, so too. My mom doesn't. I don't know why, but <laughs> well, we <laughs> I don't. I don't think my mom does either. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but. So I would say if you if you have more than just your Facebook and you're worried about your identity and your passwords, then I would say we're getting to a turning point of whether you're you were involved in the um, Home Depot target. Mm-hmm. hacks if you were involved okay so in, if you're worried and, about that if you're worried about all these hack things that are coming through yep. uh we just got a message from like i don't know capital one or something the other day uh something like that right like if if you're getting those messages and you are concerned this would help dissuade those concerns yep. well uh maybe right not so much the target no those kind but, of concerns but no but yeah. I guess I look at it as more on the if you're worried about your identity and you care about things like your Facebook account, your Instagram account, your bank account, yeah. um, those types of th- things that you log into from different machines. Right, right. And you're one of those people that uses the other thing is you look at all the breaches that go on with passwords being found on xyz site and then they're published and then you use that password everywhere right (laughs) well now i have 
access to all so, your stuff. So, uh, you know, if you're the everyday person that you're concerned about this, but also I think if you consider yourself a high value target, like you guys work in security a little bit with with uh, uh, Big Bank International, or you're a newspaper reporter, or you're something like that, somebody that is going to be targeted with something like this, that would that would be helpful. And, and I look at it. I take the uh, Superman three slash. <laughs> Office space view of it, right? Uh, every time you if, do, you, every time if, you mention the Superman three effect. If, but if, but when you think about it, right? If I found, let's just say I found a hundred user accounts and their password mm-hmm. from like from something silly like old clerk accounts and <laughs> and you use that same user ID and password at your bank. Right. And then I go, and then I go sign you and a ninety nine other people up for Venmo, mm-hmm. and, and and take a dollar every week out of all those accounts. Mm-hmm. I could be making, I could, I could be just getting checks like Kraus does, and sit back and there relax. There you go, <laughs> there you go, just Kraus with checks.